Hi, I'm McGaibo, and today I'm going to be looking at shared bookmarks, shared locations with EVE Online. MacGyver. Now, I don't often say this, but it's really helpful and useful if you click the subscribe button below. The only effect that it'll have on your YouTube experience is that you'll get a little ping whenever I've uploaded some EVE related content. Now, I'm going to keep calling them bookmarks, but within EVE, they're known as locations. They're really useful things to have, but they're even more useful things to share. To share things in EVE Online, the first thing that you need to do is create access lists. To create an access list, you go into the menu, go into social, and there it is. So I'm going to need to create two access lists here. I want people who are able to access the shared locations, and I want people who are able to edit the shared locations. So if I click New Access List, and I call this Location View, then the description can be Pilots Able to View Locations. And to add members, well, let's say I want to share these locations with all of my Alliance. I just search for the Alliance, click Add Members, and then select the flotilla, which is the Alliance, and drag it over set as member. Now your options here are to set them as admin, manager, member, or you can even block specific people. I've already got an access list called location administrators, and I'm just gonna add another pilot to this list and just drag them over admin. And there we go. I've created the access lists that I'm going to need for this shared location folder. To create the shared location folder, you drop down into personal on the menu and you go into locations. You can also press L to open that up. So I've opened up the locations and you can see there is locations in the solar system that you're in, personal locations, but I want to create a shared locations folder. You can see I've already got one here for the Alliance that I'm in. So I'm gonna give this one a different name. And to do that, you would create the folder and I'll call this one Flotilla Demo. And we'll describe it within the notes as a demonstration of a shared folder. Now you can see here that there are two different types of folder you can create. Personal folder, which as it sounds, is one that only you'll be able to see. Or what we want to do here is a shared folder. And when I click on that, we can see drop downs appear. And when I click on the drop down, the way that you dictate who can access this is through the shared list that we created earlier. So who can view it will be the location view. Who can use it will be location view, which is the list that we created before. Who can manage it? Well, we'll just leave that as the location administrators. So if we click that, we have now created the Flotilla demo shared locations folder. Now, for someone else to access that, they need to click on this link and they will get something that comes up like this, which will allow them to online the folder. And to online a folder means that they've got access to it. There's a limit to the number of shared locations folders that you can access as online folders at the same time. So you could offline the folder, which means you've still got the access to it in theory, but you would need to online the folder for it to show up in space as somewhere that you can walk to. So now I'm going to add some bookmarks locations to that folder. So let's say that I've got a bookmark now that I'd like to save. So I've got an instant undock point for Gita 44 here. It's already an existing bookmark within another shared folder, but I want to create one for this shared folder. So you press the shortcut for creating a location, which is Control and B, give it a name. And try and make it descriptive. Distances are a good thing to put in a bookmark. Select the folder, which in our case is Flotilla Demo. And here's a handy thing to have, it's an expiration date. So if you're setting up bookmarks specifically for 
an event which is happening imminently then you can choose to have those expire in three hours if you've scanned down bookmarks for wormholes or sites for your corporation or alliance they're not going to be there in a couple of days so you can just have those automatically expire on the other hand something like an instant undock point you don't really want that to expire so we'll just select never and we'll click submit if we open up locations we can choose to show and this is great just locations in the current system And if I sort by folder, you can see that, that instant undock is now shown as being in the Flotilla demo folder and will now be available after a couple of minutes to everyone who's online that folder and who has permissions to view it. But that's going to get messy and I'll show you why. If I click in space and go into locations, you will see under shared locations, Flotilla Demo is going to have all of its bookmarks just in the top level. That could get messy really quickly. So what you can do is start to sort or create subfolders where you can put in the bookmarks so they make a bit more sense. So you would click create subfolder under Flotilla Demo and we'll call this one Instant undocks. Drag that location into that subfolder and if I come out of that and right click and go into locations you will see that Flotilla Demo now has an instant undocks which means that wherever I go in whichever system if there's an instant undock location saved there it'll be in that folder. It makes it a lot easier especially if you end up having couple of hundred different locations shared in their different types of locations. So I'll show you how to share the shared folder that you have with other people. And the example that I'll use is by sending out a mail. So if I just create a new message and we'll send this one to MacGyver and we'll call it shared locations folder. Then we open up our locations, go to the Flotilla Demo Shared Locations folder and just drag that into the message and then send the mail. And if I switch over into my Gaibel, you can see that I've got the message, I can click into it, choose to online the folder. If I right click in space, then the Flotilla Demo locations are available to me. I'm Magaibo, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.